Hi, so my name is Julian and I'm going to be sharing with you today step by step how you can set up stop losses and buy orders in SwiftX. I'm also going to share with you some new features that SwiftX have just added to their website that might be um, helpful and useful to you. So I'm going to jump straight into this video and not waste any of time. So if you have any questions, leave them below. If you do want to sign up Dex, I do have a link in my bio. This is a feature a lot of people have asked me about in the past how to set this up. So I thought I'd create a quick video to show you how to do it. And I'll show, show you really quickly how it's done. As So first step is to come to SwiftX. Make sure you have an account, of course. You want to come to the tab here. Now this might be different depending on your mobile, but the process should be pretty much the same. It might just, you just want to look for tab, trade trap, ta um, the trade tab. So once you drop down the trade tab. It doesn't really matter where you press or what you um, click on it. Just click on whatever one. We'll just start with a buy. So hopefully you understand how I, this process, I'm just gonna show you over overview of how it all works. Now this is for example, you just wanna come to the tabs here and click the buy um, trade once you're on swiftdeck.com. Click just here, trade. This might be different on mobile depending on what, um, but it'll, all, it'll be all the same pretty much. So let's say you wanna put in a buy order. So a buy order is just simply buying it at a certain price. So you hear, so buy when the price drops or buy when the price increases. So this can be easy as, let's say, you want to buy when the price drops. So let's say if if this coin, this coin is a dollar forty-seven. I'll put a buy order in at a dollar. How much will I want to buy of it? Worth? How much do I want to buy of it? So this is how much I want to buy in AUD, or how much actual coins do I want to buy? You can do this depending on your what you want to do. So maybe you want to put in a buy order of a hundred dollars once it gets to a dollar. So if this gets to a dollar, it will automatically buy a hundred dollars worth AUD. This has you also have to make sure you have the uh, money in your account. So make sure you have the money in your account. I don't think it will automatically take the money out of like your visa or anything. You have to have the actual currency in your account as I'm aware. So so this will be buy when it's a dollar. So this is a simple way to buy when it goes down if you want to do that. Or you can buy it when the price increases. So this could be something where people buy it when it has a breakout. So this coin could have a breakout. If somebody sees an opportunity and sees a breakout, they might buy it if it hits a dollar past maybe once it hits the all time high or near the all time high or whatever when the price increases. So let's say when it goes to a dollar sixty, that's when people might um, put in a buy order. So a dollar sixty, they'll pay for it and how much they want to um, put in. So how much they want to buy of it, as I'm aware. So how much they want to buy of it. So let's say they want to buy $150 worth. They'll get that amount for that price. So that's how that all works, the buy orders. I'll also show you how to do the sell orders. So if you want to come to here, you just click the sell order on the top here. So once you come to here, it's really simple. So sell when the price increases or you can sell when the price drops. So when the price increases, let's say you want to, uh, so this is a price once again, the price of the coin. So the price, let's say it gets to $3. I want to sell at $3. How much AED? Do you want to sell it all, the full amount? Or do you want to sell 25%, 50%, 75%? So you can set up how much in AUD you want to sell or how much TW, how much of the token you want to sell. So I just want to put 50, 50, so half of everything. Or you can simply press this here, we'll give you the same thing, pretty much. So I want to sell half of it when the price hits $3. So if the price increases to $3, this hits $3, it will automatically trigger it and I'll, it'll sell it. and I'll just hit the trigger there. Now, if you want to set up a stop loss, this is really easy. Once again, the same process. Sell when the token, when whatever cryptocurrency you want. This works on every single cryptocurrency on SwiftX. So sell when the price drops. So how much you want to sell it for? Let's say the price drops, right now it's $1.40. I'll set it to when it hits um, $1.90. How much do I want to sell of it? I want to sell probably the whole lot of it, but you can set it up whatever amount here you want to sell it at. So let's say you want to sell uh, 70 worth of it. That's how much it's going to be worth in AUD. You can see what is f what your portfolio is worth here on the left here. So it's f this coin, I'm holding $157 worth. So you can just, depending on how much you got of it, you can set it to whatever amount you want. And it, or you can just set it up how many how many coins you got so you got 73 here i've got that's how much i've got total and that's how much worth it's worth aud wise so you can set it up that way that's how much it will be worth if it gets to that 90 cents mark not how much it's worth right now as it's worth a dollar 47 at the so that's how simple it is to set this up so you just click hit this and confirm the sell so now i have stop loss and a buy buy um setup 
a buy order set up. So this is a buy order and this is a sell order. You can look at the charts. If you want to cancel your orders or anything that you've done, you just come to the tab here, orders, and you can see that I've got these two set up right now, open. So if you want to cancel them, you just press that little button and it's canceled. So I hope you understand how simple it is and I hope this was a, a detailed enough guide for you. So now all I do now, I want to go over a new feature as well. They've just added new feature, portfolio tracking. So if, as you can see here, you can toggle your feature. You can see how much your overall profit loss and how much you've profited or how much you've lost. Tracking made simple. This feature is game changer, especially for the fully diverse across the majority of our 250, 260 cryptocurrency. Toggle balance between percentage and dollar amount. So what they mean here is you can actually toggle it to show the dollar amount that you've made or lost. So as you can see, it's showing me the dollar amount. So I'm up. $8.36 and I'm down to $6.00 in this cryptocurrency and I'm overall my overall portfolio is up so you can just this is a simple way to show how that you can track the gro growth of initial asset holding in one place so you can see the overall growth of it as well here each one in the percentages and the you can show it in dollar value too as you can see this is percentages how much it's up in percentage you can also view the overall portfolio which is at the bottom like I'm here here overall um, loss and profit and you can change it to dollar then you can also track toggle the frame too so this is historical value count value track your overall growth via widget on your dash so this is a widget here and as you can see you can track it by month by year as you can see there I'll track it by one month and it'll show me what my accounts valued over the time so there you go that's how simple it is you can change it to 12 months or one year it's totally up to you you can see the overall value of your account per day of that year so that's how simple that is uh, whether you have a few holds or hundreds you can instantly experience the easiest method of tracking the highs and lows across your portfolio so it's an easy way to look at your overall portfolio the good time the high times and the low to check you can check overall if you're growing or you're not growing but yeah hopeful hopeful i'm hopeful that this video has helped you out um hit the like button like i mentioned if you do want to sign up to swiftx the link is in the description thanks for watching i appreciate you and um thank you see you next time So, 